I am a level 1 noob. I have literally never played anime defenders, but what would happen if a level 1 noob went to wish with some divine wishes? So let's check it out. As you can see right here, there's some crazy units to get. You can see there's a 0 0.30 shadow dragon, there's even a shiny hunter game pass. You can see there's the divine wishes, these are the most expensive items you can find in the shop, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna hook me up with something great. Of course, I want to make sure that what I'm doing in this video, you guys at home can do as well. So everything I'm buying i am giving away a duplicate of as well and i have a full update it's coast list so we're gonna check that out right away triple dot top left codes and boom here we go and the defenders follow us on the socials to redeem exclusive units in the game so let's use all the codes that exist Okay, so the issue I seem to run into is that you need to be level 8 to claim codes. As you know, I am level 1. I don't know how long it takes to level get level 8. So, what we'll do is we're going to start wishing first. We're going to do a game and see if I get level 8 right away. And if I don't, then, you know, I'll just give you guys all the codes in one go. Okay, so we have the Hall of Mirrors. We have Raids. We have Tower of Eternity. Trading. AFK Zones. Play challenges summon. So I think we should go ahead and use the summon, but probably the exclusive wishes. So let's quickly see. Let's quickly see all these. So these are normal summons. Okay. We have spirits, which will give us probably some bonuses, trades, and rank reels. Okay. So we are just going after the exclusive wishes right here. So we can wish with normal wishes, which we don't really care about. And we're going to be wishing with the Divine wishes, which are going to give me a lot better chance, it seems, to get myself the higher ranked rewards. Okay, so let's go ahead and use divine wishes right here. We're just going to go ahead and start off with 20. So we're going to go ahead and use 20 divine wishes and give away 20 divine wishes. So if you guys want to get yourselves the fir first package of 20 divine wishes, watch it if you have to like this video, subscribe if you're new, comment down below, hashtag divine, which your robot username is everything you're going to have to do. So I now have 20 divine wishes, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and use them. So I am interested in what we're going to get. I could buy Shiny Hunter, but I think for now it should be fine. You know, let's go ahead and use our first 10 wishes. Come on, we got ourselves the Legion Veteran Limited. Ooh, okay. We got 11 million of these exist. Holy. Okay, so either people really roll these a lot or she's not that rare to get. Okay, there we go. See you. Boom. So three, four five six seven oh there we go we got ourselves the legion assassin oh two of those and there we go okay so we only got the most common ones we got the legion veteran legion assassin so we hopefully get a commander in the next 10 pools so let's just see what we're gonna get we only have three slots though so i really wish that we're gonna get ourselves a third unit so let's go ahead legion veteran legion veteran legion veteran Okay, so it seems to be going in order of rarity, so... Oh, okay. We got one assassin, another one. Oh, another one. Man, that really sucks. So, we didn't get ourselves the commander. Uh, but I do want to go ahead and check out so we can wish as well. I think... No, we don't have any of these. Okay, okay. Uh, so, we do have 200 crystals. So, that's going to give us maybe a normal summon. Oh, we can actually buy four summons. Okay. That's actually not too bad. So, let's just see what these are. We can compare them. Because, like I said, I've never played this game. I've never seen a video in this game. I've never, you know, talked about anyone about this game. So, I don't know what's good. Uh, but I just wonder what the summons are going to be like compared to the premium exclusive ones maybe they're just as good maybe they're you know a lot better we'll have to see okay so if we right now go to our units we have a bunch of these legion veterans these are all level ones and of course this was our key master we got as, as an ex as a basic one um and if we compare these okay so the damage is a lot higher a lot lower cooldown okay so these legion veterans are really good and yeah not too bad Okay, so we're going to equip a Legion Veteran and a Legion Assassin. So we got those. And then I think we can go ahead and... Can we merge these? How does the leveling work? So I've taken a look around. There's only a cell mode. Maybe there's something later on that makes me merge units together. Of course, these units will be nice to have. But I wonder why we can merge them. So that's maybe something that they use in other games. But it is what it is. Okay, so I did equip my best team possible I click this button right here so 
We got this, these three bad boys. So it's time for us to move into a game. I want to see how many levels I can get and how good these units are. Was it worth spending the thousands of Robux already or not? Let's figure out. Heading into the Windmill Village, the invasion of the Windmill Village. Easy. Okay, so we do not actually have any money. <laughs> we do not have enough money to... Um, start that's actually uh pretty sad i don't know like how uh, this was the literally to make this clear this was the first unit i got from the game for free and these ones are even more expensive so i am uh just gonna have to skip wave okay we get some money now okay 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 so we just gonna use this guy right here okay beautiful <laughs> I was like, my first wave, I can't even place a unit. So we are going to be able to use that. We're going to have to save up $850 for the next one. Uh, this is like maybe like... Uh, okay, we can just place them here. Okay. So this one's a ground unit and this one as well. Okay, so we don't have like any fly units maybe. So that's not bad. Okay, so we can rotate the units as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and place them... I think like this will probably be the best. Let's go ahead and place him there. And then we'll place the other guy the other way. Uh, actually, we'll just put him here. Boom. So if people are coming through, we now have... Oh, okay. This guy is pretty sick. And then we have this uh, girl over there chilling. Yeah, our basic unit is, is okay. But he has nothing on the premium, boys. Like, he's, he's uh, looking very awesome as well. Damaged uh, 115 compared to... 14 that's crazy 45 as well yeah okay this guy is extremely strong oh so it seems there is like some auto abilities as well let me see does this guy have it as well no this one does have it okay so this veteran blessing which is like a heal and we have assassin's might okay so that's actually super sick they have normal abilities and like extra activatable abilities that is so cool my first unit is definitely not strong enough anymore look at this he does no damage but the legion uh, legion assassin is gonna be literally watching everything oh we got a sniper shot they used this veteran's blessing holy so okay so he gets 20 percent more range Okay, and this got 30% more damage. Okay, that's actually cool because now she actually is firing at them. That is sick. Heading into the final wave soon. We got one final upgrade, I think, for ability-wise. We got Slashing Tornado is now here. Ooh. Okay, that looks very, very nice. But yeah, final wave, nothing too bad. Of course... I'll be honest, I didn't expect to have any trouble with the premium units on the first ever level, you know. But let me know, compared to when you played the first, this game for the first time, how hard is my experience versus yours? I think, of course, I could have literally used any unit and I would have survived solo. But the Iron Captain is quite tanky, 1400 HP, and he is gone. Wave 50 completed, and we defeated our first ever match we can of course play next but i wonder how much xp we got of course i don't think we're gonna get level eight right away i think it's actually quite a lot of games to get there uh because it seems i'm still level one yeah so i got 50 xp Ooh, okay that's interesting i don't think there's any way to buy xp let me know uh, in the comment section down below if there's any way for me to get xp faster besides just playing like, what's the fastest XP way in the game? Is it maybe doing challenges? Is it doing raids? Is it just doing your your missions? You know, like, I don't know what's the best way. Let me know in the comment section down below. So, uh, so I can't use the codes, but I on the screen right now, I'll show you guys all the codes that are working inside the game, plus the rewards. So, 3, 2, 1, boop, they're on the screen right now. So, go ahead and use them. And, of course, get yourself the benefits. There's a bunch of free gems on there. Uh, as well, some 100 lucky tickets. I don't know what those are for. As well, know that on the 24th, there will be a new battle pass. So, I will be back on the 24th with another video. And I'm going to go ahead and get that season pass. Because I saw that first one season pass. I was like, shall we do that one? But then I saw that literally in two weeks, we're going to get a brand new one. So, I'm going to wait two weeks. We're going to buy the battle pass on release date and see what it holds. So, yeah. I think to be honest, that's going to wrap it up for me today. Pretty nice for first experience really cool looking game let me of course know in the comment section down below some tips and to the giveaway for those three beautiful divine wishes and i'll see you guys later today or tomorrow for another video so guys take care bye thanks so much for watching and of course as well take care guys